Welcome to my new series where I will show off use cases and concepts you can do with generative AI. In today's episode, we will have a look at a script I created that scrapes text off the web, summarizes it with GPT-3 and creates an illustration of the summary. So let's just get started. So let's just start by looking at a quick flowchart I created for the script. So we start off with scraping a query text from Google News. We save this text to a file. We use a Python function to read the text file. Write a summary of it with GPT-3. Save that summary to a file. Use the same Python function to read that file. And we use the doll e 2 API to create an image of that summary. Then we will end up with a Google News summary and an illustration of that summary. So let's just head over to the notepad to look at the script before we do a demo. Okay, so before we run the script, let's just go over how this works. So we use a beautiful soup to scrape the web. We have a re request and we have OpenAI. So OpenAI is for GPT-3, request is for pulling the URL image file into our folder. And we have beautiful soup to scrape the web. So what I started with was create two functions here to read and to save files, read and write. And then we have this search for that is just a user input. So what do you want to search? Uh, we use that uh, search for into our input. That is just a placeholder for SQ. Uh, and uh, what I wanted to show you here is how we use, you can see we have circ here. That is replacing query because query when I click on this now, query is the uh, search query uh, in Google News. So when we change the um, query here in the script, we will actually change what we search for in Google News. Uh, yeah, this is just uh, the beautiful soup script. I'm not going to go into that because that takes a lot of time. Then we just have our OpenAI key. We have uh, something called feed here. That is where we hold. As you can see here, we what we scrape from Google News is been saved to this file called scrape2.txt. So feed is just going to open that file. And we have prompt. That is going to replace uh, the placeholder feed here, as you can see. Write a concise summary from the following text. So feed is now, of course, going to be what we scrape from uh, Google News. Then we just run that through the GPT-3 engine. So we just run uh, prompt equals prompt. And we print and save the output text with the strip. So we don't get any excess text. Then we just save the output text uh, or just hold it with, we open it with prompt one. And here we have the doll E2 API. So prompt is just going to be equal prompt one. That is the summary we created with GPT-3. And just to add something to the, um, to the summary here, I just added these three prompts, digital illustration, 8K sharp focus. That's just going to be in the end of the summary to try to get a better image. Our size is 1024, 1024. And the final thing the script does is it uses request to save the because with dolly 2 api you just get a url so with request we can save the file straight to our folder uh, i'm not going to explain how that works but that's quite simple so that is basically how the script works so let's just run some demos then it will be much easier to understand okay so let's head over to the fun part and that is actually running the script so let's just go python what is it called? Stock scrape. <laughs> Strange name. Dot pi. So we get the first term is the user input. What do you want to search? So I have some search terms here. So I just wanted to start with Sam Bankman. I gotta do a plus, right? Bankman read plus FDX. So let's run that in. That's gonna be in Google News, of course. And we should get a summary. Okay, so let's have a look at the output. 
Sam Bankman Fried, former CEO of FTX, uh, has been involved in online poker scandal. Really? Alameda Research. There's some. This is a great summary, I guess. And also, let's have a look at the image. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't quite understand. What is that? Uh, yeah. Anyway, FEX instead of FTX. Okay. That was quite fun. So let's try another search term. Okay. So let's clear this to uh, another search term. So I was thinking like electric car and Tesla. Let's try that. See what we get from Google News. Okay. Let's have a look at the output here. <clears throat> German car industries, electric vehicle plants ran into trouble this week. Tesla remains the leader in the electric vehicle space. Tesla is also facing challenges. Okay, so there's like a quick summary here. Uh, let's have a look at the image we got. Ah, that's a Tesla, right? There's always like text. So I don't like text in Dolly 2. It doesn't work. But you can see that's a Tesla, isn't it? I think so. Yeah. Not bad. Okay, let's try a new one. Okay, so here I thought I could go... Um, was it FIFA plus uh, World Cup? World Cup 2022. Started yesterday. So let's see what we get from Google News here. Okay, let's look at the uh, output. The FIFA World Cup will set on November 20th. Yeah. World Cup leaders are attending the ceremony. On the first day of the World Cup, Ecuador ended up defeating Qatar 2 to nothing. Yeah, that was yesterday. So let's have a look at the image. Probably something boring. Ah, wasn't too bad. Strange though. Very strange. Is that, is that even a flag? I don't think so. Again, a lot of text that doesn't work very well in Dolly 2 yet, at least. Uh, okay. Uh, that was a bit strange. Uh, let's do one final search term. So the last search term, I was thinking maybe we can get like a better picture. So let's do Bengal Tigers. I don't know what we're going to get from that. Uh, I also thought I could show you the scrape data because I, we haven't looked at that yet. You can see it here. Uh, okay, so this is looks like some kind of football thing. Okay. Uh, I was thinking more like the animal, but hey. The Bengals beat Steelers in a rematch Sunday. Okay, so that's probably NFL, isn't it? The Blue Tigers. This, this is just sports, I guess. Okay, I was thinking more about the animal, but hey. Uh, let's have a look at the image. Okay, that was too bad. That looks quite a lot like uh, NFL. Okay, so I guess that's our best image. Yeah, that was not too bad. Okay, so maybe some of you wanted to have a look at the input too. Uh, not, not the input, but uh, the scraped um, text. So this is what we got from Google News. So basically, it's just headlines and descriptions from Google News. And of course, this was the output that we had a quick look at. Yeah, uh, I think that's it. Okay, so hopefully this gave you some good ideas how you can use generative AI. Uh, check out some of my other videos here somewhere. And have a great day and I'll see you again soon.